So yeah, this is going to be um, number two of my underrated film series. And this is going to be The Fan, starring Robert De Niro and Wesley Snipes. Um, 1996 film that, again, as is the theme of this series, uh, grossly underrated and overlooked film, in my opinion. Um, I've always loved this film. I first saw it probably... Maybe the year after it came out would have been on VHS back then, I would imagine. Um, I would have been sort of maybe 13 when I first saw this in, in 1997. And it was really was the first film that actually kind of creeped me out, if you like. Um, I was never really into the the hacker slasher type horror films like Halloween and um, Friday the 13th. Nightmare on Elm Street, that sort of thing. I was never, I was never into the obvious horror, um, even from like an early age. When I, I think one of the first films I saw was like Candyman, and I was just never really scared by that, by that, by the sort of stuff that that my mates were at the time. Um, so when I first saw this, and I thought, and it really did this, and um. Well, there was a couple of films at the time, but this one, like the performance of De Niro, really sort of creeped me out. Um, brilliant performance, outstanding, and as I say, massively overlooked film, in my opinion. On just looking on IMDb, it looks like f- um, five point six out of ten, and Rotten Tomatoes even worse. I think it's like four point eight out of ten as an average score. Um, obviously can't read too much into that sort of bollocks on them on those sites but just just gives you an idea um of how overlooked it actually is and like i say great performances one of one of wesley snipes last good performances obviously uh he did blade after this in the late 90s but um that was obviously it wasn't a like <sighs> this was more of a of a of a character role than Blade, obviously. Um, good performance by, by Wesley Snipes. Um, great performance by De Niro. Fantastic. Um, as a psychopathic-like villain in this film. Um, if you don't know the basic premise of the story, is um, it's, a ba- it's, it's kind of a baseball film. Obviously, that plays more of a backdrop to, to a character study of, of De Niro's character, but... Um, Wesley Snipes plays a guy called Bobby Rayburn, who is a sort of multi-millionaire um, star baseball player, and he gets um, bought by uh, the San Francisco Giants, which is the baseball team that Rob De Niro's character, um, Gil Renard, is is absolutely obsessed with. Is obsessed with baseball. Is obsessed with the San Francisco Giants. Um, never misses a game, goes out of his way, like skips work to never to make sure he never misses a game. Absolutely obsessed with with the San Francisco Giants being successful. Um, and when they sign Wesley Snipes' character Bobby Rayburn, um, obviously De Niro thinks this is this guy's the second coming, and that he's gonna he's his team is now going to win all these trophies and all this stuff. And when he sees that Bobby Rayburn isn't actually um, earning his money and do- holding up his end of the bargain, he loses the plot slowly and gradually. Um, his job is actually is, is a knife salesman, which which goes a long way to being just adding to the to the overall sort of atmospheres of the film um it travels around these dingy office buildings trying to sell these hunting knives and obviously he's an expert in the field de niro uh, his character and he's uh, an expert like in the use of, of knives and stuff like that which just makes it even more creepy but fantastic performance by de niro I always liked him as as the villain in a film. Cape Fear, another fantastic film. Um, very another underrated film. Um, but yeah, I'll, obviously I'll just leave it there as regards to the plot. Uh, De Niro s- starts to get more and more obsessed with Bobby Rayburn and and the San Francisco Giants and and just basically spirals out of control. 
and yeah, as I say, great performances all round. Um, Wesley Snipes, Rob De Niro, um, great great direction from Tony Scott. I, he's, uh, his films have always been hit and miss for me. Um, I absolutely love some of his of his films. Man on Fire uh, is one of my favourite films of all time. But then there's some films that he's done that I just can't stand. Um, didn't like Unstoppable, uh, Denzel Washington, a uh, runaway train film. I um, absolutely hated Deja Vu, another Denzel Washington film. Um, but yeah, but he's bang on the money on the, in this film. Absolutely creepy as fuck and definitely worth a watch. If you've not seen it, go check it out. Um, it's one of Nero's better performances that, I, that I've personally seen. So yeah, just quick review this one um, I'm planning on probably doing a bit of a longer video for the next uh, for number three in the series so um, yeah thanks for listening see you later